Ladies and gentlemen, tonight live from to the Tri-State region, Superstars goes ECW. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a special edition of Superstars where every match has no rules, and we're going to let the Dudley Boys introduce it. Tonight, the WWF goes extreme. Tonight, Superstars is full of no rules. Tonight, this is not WWF. This is ECW. Why? Because we're in the Philadelphia Civic Center. Bill goes for the next hour, get a taste of what you can watch every Friday tonight, the WWF changes the rules a 53 c minus from the dudley boys and in a decent match papa shango defeated juice from like 808 when juice from like defeat could not beat the 10 count after voodoo after a voodoo driver papa shango 52 juice from like 64 no weapons this was a last man standing match 62 c beautiful we've missed a match you bloody beep um who was it there's an ODQ Street Fight match, and I can't remember who was in it. Anyway, Coco Beware. Coco, four weeks away, live on Survivor Series, live on pay view. Me versus you. And this time, we be more of you losing. Last week, we showed you what I can do when I help Tonga win the tag match. Now, I'm going to do the same in four weeks, live on pay per view. So, we've now got another match added. Of course, all the matches on Superstars will have single matches and stuff at Survivor Series. Obviously, will culminate in matches at Survivor Series. But yes, Mankind will be facing Coco Beware, who is a cop of mid card at the moment because of the way the roster is, with everybody fucking off to rehab, which has cost me a lot of bloody money this month. I lost a lot of money last month. I'm going to say calm. 61C. Um, you did not make a profit. The Val McTire, and she goes, so Jean... She's accepted. Now, I like, know you like to introduce people, but tonight there is no rules, so I've got another two women with me, and this is going to be a six-woman tag war. And Mean Gene, are you ready? 53C-. minus, And we're going to go straight into that tag war match. No DQ. And in above a decent match, in the Alondra Blaze, Bison, Kum Kuminari, and Val McIntyre, David Walnakuni, Jacqueline, and Arja Kong in a three versus three no DQ match. And it's over 46, and Alondra Blaze defeat Jacqueline by the bridging German suplex. McIntyre, 56. Bosa Kuniri, 52. Alondra Blaze, 50. Arja Kong, 55. Jacqueline, 43. And Borna Kuni, 55. Bison Kuma in flying and performance and Bull Nakuni in performance of 56 E minus. Beautiful. And then in a decent match, Mankind defeated Robin Dan in a street fight in 744 by pin of the double arm DDT after distraction from the Tonga Kid. Uh, Mankind 69, RVD 50. Uh, RVD in performance. No work in 64 C. Nice. And of course, your main event of the night is Team ECD, ECW versus Dudley Boys. Did anyone think I planned this? Because I did. I knew I was going to Philadelphia and I thought. Yeah, we're doing an ECW main event. It might not be the best, but in a decent match, the Dudley Boys defeat the MC, Team ECW in a street fight in 1524, and Bubba Ray Dudley defeated Sandman by pinfall. Salvatore Balmoon, 49, Sandman, 48, Bubba Ray, 47, and Devon, 46. Bubba Ray in performance. That was probably because it was a hardcore match, and they're probably like, mm, you can't do hard. No, no, no. That's not bad. 54C minus. Not the best show, but not the bad. Oh, yeah, it was Dave Taylor defeated Ray Mysterio Jr. in a street fight match, and that got a 49. There you go, it's Dave Taylor versus Ram I knew there was someone along the lines, but yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you for Monday Night Raw in a few clicks. Yeah, I probably broke it. Welcome back. After a day of rest, uh, I got a bit bored after a while yesterday. It wasn't the recording, it was just editing and stuff. We've got 12,037 at the Philadelphia Silk Center tonight for Monday Night Raw. And in a pre shot, decent match, I'm cheat. Chris Jericho defeated Hunter Hurst, Hamilton 745 by a pinfall. Hunter Hurst 45, Jericho 54. No work from I'm improving down at the trainer school. And I'm just getting called back up, so well done, guys. They're both heels, so it was a heel versus heel match, but 50D plus. I really want these two to really start improving, so I want these ready for Royal Rumble time to be called up. That's kind of the goal, so they are improving, but I think they'll improve better on the roster. So we'll see where they are at Royal Rumble. Uh, we've got Vader, Steer, Slaughter, Hart, Randy, Hawk, Sting, Arn, and the Great Moodle in the opening package tonight. <laughs> And then the prior goes off the stage. We're showing the excited fans as Sting's music hits and the roof comes off the place. So this is it. Four weeks away. The night where I win the championship. Now all of you might think this is, in, in, this is impossible. But I'm going to prove the impossible can become the possible. You see, I came here from WCW to be a star, and but I am one. The title will be the start and it, 
will be the start, and it's going to be the biggest night in WWF since Hulk Hogan body slammed Andre the Giant. And with this Vader's music hits, and the crowd erupt in You Suck Chance, You Suck, guess 79B, which is not a bad angle, actually, I haven't even looked over there. And Sting's like, Sting, your time is coming, but it's but it's not taking taking me down. Your time is to be another name in the history of my title reign. This is a battle that I'll win, and a Survivor Series I will. And when this Sting jumps out of the ring and a brawl ensues, Vader gets the upper hand near the announcer's table. He then picks up Sting and slams him through the table. Then he just walks away as EMTs run past him to check on Sting as he's removed on a stretcher. Well, that's a great way to open up the episode of One Night Raw, isn't it? We're throwing Sting through a table. He is not in action tonight because he's now been taken away in an ambulance. And we'll get a me- and I'll promise you next week on Raw we'll get a medical update from Sting 79B. In about a decent reaction with the crowd, a subpar wrestling typhoon defeated Dos Caras in 827 by Pivot the Running Splash. Typhoon 55, Dos Caras 38. No work runs for 52 D plus, not bad. In a decent match, the Rock and Roll Express defeated Head Shrinkers in 756 when Ricky Morton defeated Sam Moo by pinning the double drop kick following defense on Bushwhacker Luke. Due to match, we also had Butch running attack Fatu. Uh, Fatu 59, Sam Moo 60, Robert Gibson 54, Ricky Morton 52. Uh, Ricky Morton in performance, uh, 60C. That's actually not a bad match, actually. So basically, the Bushwhackers have stopped the Head Shrinkers from winning the match against the Rock and Roll Express. Because of that, next week on Monday Night Raw, ladies and gentlemen, we will have. And we'll get to see a special uh, title match on Raw. One of the first ones. I'm not recording. I probably won't get any time at all tomorrow to record. So probably most of my recordings will happen on Monday now, which is a bit annoying. But the Legion of Doom, as you know, Road Warrior Animal is not assigned yet, which is a bit of an issue. I don't think he's back, but I'll set him up to be a manager. But yes, next week, the Rock and Roll Express will be in action against the Head Shrinkers. As soon as the Legion of Doom can wrestle as a tag team again, I've got plans for him, but that's about three years out. So I've got three years to go before that, and this will be upgraded. Rick and Morning Proven Forms, this will be upgraded with when TW20 comes out, the same as all the others will be. I've mentioned this before. 60C. After the match, Fu grabs a mic and he's like, how dare you come out and cost my men the ma- their match here tonight? That is rubbish. You think that this is going to help you win the title? Nope. It's going to help you lose the match, because my men are now very angry, and it is now suicide mission strong words from Afu there 49D plus and then about the had decent didn't have much heat and terrible wrestling Reggie Bennett defeated Shara Risa in 825 by the Global Bomb these don't cook at all Reggie Bennett 39 Shara Risa 22 no work appearance 35E plus ugh shit match and then on Ensign and Gene's like it looks like you're one short you said the whole team would be here there's only four of you so you got Arn, Trudy, Jerry and IRS and Arn's like shut up you idiot look my fifth man is in Japan as he's been for years working for all Japan but as I but as Survivor Series he'll be there he'll be what he'll be on my t- on team Anderson tonight the four is going into that ring against four nobodies to show you how good the team is, this team is and Stan Hansen can't wait to see you at Survivor Series so the fourth, the fifth member is Stan Hansen. I'm not going to show you the list because I haven't announced Randy Savage's all five Randy Savage's members, which you'll get to see next week on Monday Night Raw. But 63 C, that is beautiful. Our traditional Survivor Series match is looking good. And in a decent match, Trudy Blanchard, IRS, Jerry Lawler, and Arn Anderson defeat Diamond Dallas Page, Kenny Kabashi, Terry Mass 2, and Tommy Dreamer in 860. And Arn Anderson defeat Kenny Kabashi by from the DDT. Arn Anson 80, Jerry Lawler 57, IRS 55, Truly Blanchard 66, Tommy Dreamer 44, Tiger Mass 51, Kenny Kobashi 46, and Diamond Dallas Page 52. DDP in performance and IRS in technical 67C plus. I can't complain with that. Quite a nice little match. Good. And then Bret Hart goes, Austin, you better be back soon so I can kick your ass. I've had it with being told two more weeks. You're the biggest rising star in WWF, so it's time you got better. So I can. S- so I can show the WWF that I'm the biggest star in the WWF today, not you. Sony one C plus. Bro, I was getting annoyed now because Stone Cold often. I'm annoyed because I wanted him to be able to work angles because I would have kept him on screen during this time. In a decent match, Crush defeated Dave Finley in 729 by Piv the Backbreaker. Uh, Dave Finley, 55, Crush, 54. 58 C minus, no work appearance. 58 C minus, not bad. Can't complain. And then Fuji's like, look here, Mr. Chono, this battle, you can't win. This man has destroyed the best in WRF. Yes, WRF has to offer. He only lost to Brett because he cheated. He should be the world champion. But Intercontinental title will do. And Gino, you will not beat him. 59C+, plus. thank you, Mr. Fuji. Uh, the Undertaker attacks Earthquake backstage and leaves him down and out. 
Seventy two B minus. In the decent match, Brian Pillman defeated the Tonga Kid in six thirty nine by people of the air. Pillman during the match had Roland and distract Tonga Kid. Tonga Kid forty eight, Brian Pillman sixty six. Tonga Kid informs. So I've done this to kind of hype up the, you know, because this will be a way of going. Oh, you need to watch Superstars every week because RVD's just come out and distracting the Tonga Kid, and they're feuding over on Superstars. This has also been announced on during Raw and um, on this past week's Superstars as well as on Raw tonight that it will be the Tonga Kid versus RVD one on one live at Survivor Series. You're not going to miss this one as these two lock all these two future up and comers. Lock horns as far as 63C, not bad. And a video hypes up your main event of the night as Vader will take on Bret Hart for the with the WWF Championship on the line. In about fantasy in great wrestling, Vader defeated Bret Hart in 1940 by pin of the Vader bomb. Vader makes defense number seven of his WWF Championship. Uh, Bret Hart's only one, Vader 82, Vader in flying, it's 81B. End the show there. No Randy Savage or anyone like that this week, or Jake Roberts or anyone like that. So only six been minus, lost his popularity, increased his popularity in seven, but lost his popularity in four. That isn't a good enough show. We'll see what how WCW does. And as I said, it's going to take us a long while to switch around this company. Our locker room is on zero, um, which is not going to help our ratings at all. I think our ratings would be better if our locker room was higher up. But with all the drug tests and stuff, I made a massive loss last month, which has really hurt me. In the sense of, I've got no passion at the moment. And I'm just trying to get this through to WrestleMania. <laughs> I'm trying to get this through to when these guys come back. Because everything I had planned for Survivor Series is I'd go out the window. The only thing that stayed the same, roughly, is the Randy Savage and Arn Anderson storyline. All the storylines up into WrestleMania, except for one, have all had to change. You know, a lot of these storylines are going to be building up towards, you know, over the next three months and from SummerSlam onwards are building up to WrestleMania. That's when I start. So let's have a look what they did. An 84B plus a sellout crowd. Brad Armstrong defeated Van Hammer. The Cole Twins defeated Unholy. Josh Bengoa and Bob Backlund. Johnny Gunn defeated Rage. Lex Luger and Ric Flair. Holly Top Man and the, Bl and the Black Top Bully. Lord of the Rings defeated the Top Dogs. Hulk Hogan and Missy Hart. The Faces of Fear defeated Shex and Shanghai. Uh, Roddy Pipe and Barry Windham. Um, Haynes and Ric Flair defeated the Conspirators by DQ um, for the World Tag Titles involved. I have changed the belts around a bit, and I'll show you for why. Um, and then Hulk Hogan defeated Kevin Sullivan, who's now back in the WF by DQ, which got a 98. Jesus. So that's another thing I did. I brought Kevin Sullivan back into WWF and um, WCW, because during this time he was still in it. That's where Stan Hansen was, defeating Dan Koff. I really could have done with him. We our Monday Night Raw was worse than their Saturday night show. Where D T the Santana defeat Carmella. This is this is what happened. WCW was better than us, but a lot of their stars are going to be retiring and we will start taking over once their wrestlers start retiring because we're building up the future stars, which I'm trying to do. But yeah, so I changed their tires around a bit. So the United States title is not floating now, it is stuck to the mid card. You see Stan Hansen held it in nineteen ninety. <laughs> And then he won it. But yeah, so you can see the United, it's now mid Carter. The women's, they have got a women's champion, which is Don Marie. They've, so the idea is because our women's division was working so well, they've gone, oh, we will do that. And I'll show you their women's division in a minute. World Heavyweight Champion is Michael Haynes. I don't know why. He's written to the company. He's, as you can see, he's not got a lot of popularity, but I'm going to shortlist him because he interests me. Uh, the World Heavyweight Champions are Michael Haynes and Ric Flair, but I think they'll lose them soon because he's a mid-card belts and these two are main eventers, which, you know, is why I've done it, to get him out of that division. And then Shane Douglas, who's someone I am interested in as well. And... He's 20 year pro, he's not very popular, and he's only written. I'm going to hire him. Shane Douglas is getting a contract. I've been wanting to do it for a while, and I've always written to WCW. But yeah, so a lot of their, they've got a few wrestlers now, but they're doing all right. But as you say, we're pushing the younger stars, they're pushing the older stars. Who is, ah, uh, oh, it's Doug Williams. I've, yeah, let's complete that. Heel on the, on, in down in pro wrestling. Oh, does Polo miss his show? Awesome. So, gentlemen, we'll see you guys for Superstars next week as we continue the road to Survivor Series. I'm back into it. We have a second backdrop for Superstars, which is our Survivor Series backdrop, um, which I haven't done for a while, but I love doing this, and this is what we're going to be doing. So, gentlemen, welcome back to the WWF in 1993. We're at the Cedar Mel Mark Exhibit Hall tonight. I'm hoping this show's going to be good. Um, I've got a surprise for you. We have a WCW wrestler who's here for the next four, four episodes of Raw. 
Um, we've got three episodes of Raw in the pay per view. So he will be with us until Survivor Series because I'll deal with Smoky Mountain Wrestling. So hopefully he's not going to kick our out WCW kick our asses in the main event because I know for a fact he's available tonight. And that is, of course, Kevin Sullivan. I've rented him with our help from Jim Cornette. I'm also working as Smoky Mountain Wrestling at the moment to hire a few of our wrestlers to them. And hopefully I'm going to have a three-way triangle where they're working with ECW and us. And we're working with all three of them. And it's be like a little triangle to take down WCW. That's the plan. I'm not going to keep you long tonight here in this beautiful venue. Look, Dudley's, we want a rematch to our series in a tables match. And Bubba, just, Bubba Ray and Dave on just music hits and they come out and they go on. And when it's a massive brawl happens with both teams continuing with their last off last week. Using weapons, chairs, kendo sticks, tables. But, in, but the security come out and split them up and the fans are like, let them fight. Let them fight. Probably not. They're probably thinking, oh, for fuck's sake. More of this stupid, stupid, super, you know, pushing the younger talents over. Shat, shizzle. Hopefully that's what the idea of this is. It's kind of like, these are going to be the future guys. The future of the tag team division. The future of all the divisions. So Team ECW, who should really be heels, but they're not, are going to be taking on the Dudley Boys in a tables match. The first ever table match on a WWE show, and it is going to happen live at Survivor Series. 51D+. plus. Nice. In a bad red sub par wrestling, a little heat Sabu defeat Papa Shango in 625 by Pim the Air, a Brarian face buster. I mean, this the first time he's wrestled since Madison Square Gardens. Um, Sabu 36, Papa Shango 48, no work appearance of 50D+. Plus. In an extremely short match, Rey Mysterio Jr. defeated Mankind in 446 by putting the Mysteriana following interference from Coco Beware. Rey Mysterio Jr. 47, Mankind 63. No work appearance, 53 C-. Minus. Now, Mankind, guys, my goes, think, you think this is how I'm going to lose to this idiot, Coco? Well done. I'll see you Survivor Series, and that night I'll show you what Mrs. Foley Baby Boy is all about. 60 C, not bad. RVD's then in the back, and he's like... I'm a star in the making. I've been main event in ECW for weeks, and I've been main eventing in Japan. And every time I get bigger and better than ever. Look here, Tonga. No matter what, as Survivor Series, I'm going to walk away the winner. So be ready for the five star frog splash. 50D plus, not bad. He'll be in action later on in the evening. In about a decent match, Simbolum Sheet, the Blue Brothers defeat Eliminates in 6 or 8 when Don Harris defeat John Kuras by pin for the H bomb. Uh, Ron Harris 56, Don Harris 54, Johnny Coronas 47, Perry Saturn 48. John Kuras and Promise, Don Harris in Rumble, and Ron Harris in Rumble. No work around, sir. 56 E minus, not bad. And then Ball Nakuni, Gino, because like, welcome back to Superstars. Joining me now, the women's champion, Ball Nakuni. And Ball's like, at Survivor Series, it's going to be me putting this on the line, and I'm going to walk away the women's champion. You've seen the WCW women's female division? They have Mae Young or Fabulous Moolah wrestling for them. Christ says they should be buried and gone like you, Val McIntyre. Your time is over, and my time is now, and that is why I am champion, and you're not. Foy AD plus. In about a decent match from Dermot Cheat, Robin Dunn defeat Chris Jericho in 5.44 by him the 5 star Frog Splash. Uh, Jericho 49, RVD 44. Robin Dunn in Rumble 51D plus. So I've just thought I'd throw him in the match together 51D plus, not bad. And your main event tonight is Coco Beware versus a Typhoon. That is the main event. In a decent match, Coco Beware defeat Typhoon in 17.51 by Pim of the Bird Buster following interference uh, by Mankind. Typhoon 48, Makoko Beware 49. No work appearance. 50D plus. That's where we end tonight's show of 53C minus. Ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you for Monday Night Raw in just a little bit. Welcome back. Raw. Hello. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of forgot about this match. So, it's a decent pre show match there. Trinkers defeated the Rock and Roll Express in 1453. When Fatty 2 defeated Robert Gibson by from the double diving headbutts. Dead Trinkers made defense number f eight to their tag team titles. Robert Gibson 55, Ricky Morton 56, Fatu 58, Samu 58. Ricky Morton performance, Robert Gibson and Rumble, Fatu and Rumble, and Samu in performance. <laughs> I am about to put my money where my mouth is and probably be wrong, but I think this is one of the best episodes of Raw I've booked since the fucking... <laughs> since the Atu, um, what I'm going to call the rehab and drugs um, incident. We've got 60C. I think this is going to be the best episode of Raw I've booked since then. 
I've got some big things planned. So we see Sting at home in a neck bra with a neck brace around his neck. I'm not there tonight, I am sorry, but Vader put me through a table. It's not right. But next week I'll be back. And then Vader, I'm coming for you. I'm not going to rest until that tile is around my waist. And that will happen as far as it is. I was getting held back by in WCW by Flair, Hogan and Michael Haynes. And now here, Vader is holding me back. I'm coming for that title. I'm not going to run it very soon. It's only 4B minus from Sting, not the best. And in a decent match, Kevin Sullivan defeated Tiger Mask in 806 by Pivot of the Devil Stomp. Tiger Mask 48, Kevin Sullivan 61, Tiger Mask in performance 61C. Yes, we ha I wasn't joking when I said I brought Kevin Sullivan in for full, full nights. In a decent match, the Bushwhackers defeat J Nadine and Owen Hart in 750, and the Bushwhacker Butch defeat Owen Hart by from the Battering Ram. Owen Hart 57, Jim Nadine 51, 55, sorry, Butch 51, and Luke 42. Uh, no work improvements of 57C minus. After the match, of course, the head shrinkers run in and beating them down to the mat. Um, they hit the finisher on both the Luke and Butch. Uh, and trying to get redemption. In a poor match, Roger Kong, Ball Nakuni, Jacqueline, Reggie Bennett, and Susan Sexton, Vivian McIntyre, Shara Russell, Brittany Brown, Bosna Kelma, and Alondra Blaze in the 725, and Susan Sexton, Vivian Alondra Blaze, both in the Bulldog. Alondra Blaze, 47. Bosna, Kamini, 30, 43. Brittany Brown, 38. Sharla, Sharla Russa, 30. Val McIntyre, 49. Susan Sexton, 47. Reggie Bennett, 44. Jacqueline, 42. Bull Nakuni, 49. And Roger Kong, 50. Bull Nakuni, performance. Jacqueline, performance. Alondra Blaze in technical. Sharla Russo in rumble and performance. And Brittany Down in rumble and performance. As I said, the women's 48D+. Plus. As I said, the women's division is um, going to be my little prep project. I've got pet projects all over this company. Um, every single series I have pet projects I do in TWE that I want to work on and with this series everything seems to be working okay apart from all the people being in rehab who are the biggest stars but apart from that everything's running fine so my pet project at the moment is the women's division but I was like so I've been told I'm not going back I've been told he's not come, go, going to be back to Raw before. So I said, it's not fair. He meant to be challenging for the title. It's not right if he's not here. Fine, if WWF thinks this is going, to, is going to work, I'll go to Smoky Mountain, Smoky Mountain on Saturday and face one of their guys. And WCW, did you see your guy fight here on Raw? Lol. See you soon, Steve. 66 C plus. Then Tony's backstage, he gets the 66, 69 C plus. Does better than fucking Brett. I am ready to be champion. Yokozuna is, is nothing to me. I've been bigger guys in Japan, and I'm going to be the Intercontinental Champion of three weeks live on Raw. Are you ready, Yokozuna, Mr. Fuji? To have your asses kicked. 69C plus from Masahiro Chono, who also works for ECW and soon will be working from uh, the Smoking Mountain Wrestling. In a poor match, Arn Anderson, IRS, Jerry Lawler, and Chili Bancher defeat Tommy Seabolt, Jeep, Jep Swanson, uh, Chaz Taylor, and David Haskins, the 724, and Chili Bancher defeat team Tommy Seabolt by from the Slingshot Suplex. These were one night, one night only guys. David Haskins, 21. Chez Taylor, 25. Jep Swanson, 33. Tommy Seabolt, 20. Trudy Bancher, 67. Jerry Lawler, 60. IRS, 55. Arn Anderson, 79. Tommy Seabolt in Technol, 58. C minus. I don't care about anyone who... Anyone else? And then after the match, Randy Savage backstage goes, Oh, yeah. You're looking at Team Savage who will be in action at Survivor Series. All my men are here. Are you ready for the battle in the traditional Survivor Series match? And I think my team will win. Oh, yeah. Well done for the win. But a survivor is not going to be you winning. It's going to be Team Savage. So, ladies and gentlemen, we have it now. It's finally been set in stone. We can now book it. It will be a five-on-five five if it is available to me. Five-on-five five traditional Survivor Series match. And it will be... We will get to see the Randy Savage. The Great Muda. Jake Roberts, who's been in rehab and hasn't had an issue since. I'm going to test him in the after the show. Um, Jake Roberts, Sergeant Slaughter. Um, I'm not testing them this month. I'm not going to test them to see if I can make profit. Who else was there? And Road Roy Hawk. Are they all going to be in action against Arn Anderson? Um, IRS. Uh, Jerry Lawler. 
Stan Hansen, who is number five, and Truly Blanchard. So they're all going to be in action. That's the traditional five on five Survivor Series match set for Survivor Series. Ha <laughs> ha! It's only two B minus. I told you I'd get it sorted. In about a good, good heat and decent wrestling, Yokozuna defeats Dos Caras in eight oh nine by from the run and leg drop. Yokozuna makes defense number two off his WWF Intercontinental. Dos Caras forty five, Yokozuna sixty three. No work of brims. Sixty three C, not bad. Then Paul Bear is backstage. He's like, oh, yes. The past few weeks you've seen what my Undertaker is made of. I bet he's not scared of you. Oh, no. He's ready for three weeks live on pay for you. He's going to tombstone you. Oh, yes. And later tonight we'll see you in the main event when we team with Brett. You seem to be with Vader. Mm-hmm. Big 7C plus from him there. And in a decent match, the great mood of Sergeant Slaughter, Road Roadway Hawk, Jake Roberts and Randy Savage defeat Typhoon, Jericho, Dave Finley, Dave Taylor and Papa Shango in 86 when the great mood defeat Chris Joker by from the Shining Wizard. Savage 80, Jake Roberts only 1, Hawk 65, Slaughter 66, Great Moon 76, Papa Shango 48, Dave Taylor 52, Dave Finley 52, Jericho 54, Typhoon 54, uh, Jake Roberts and Technol 70C plus, not bad. And our main event of the night is The Undertaker and Bret Hart teaming up against Vader and Earthquake. In an exceptional match, Earthquake and Vader defeat The Undertaker and Bret Hart in 22 11 when Vader defeats The Undertaker by pin for the Vader bomb. Uh, Bret Hart 80, Taker 73, Vader 90, Earthquake 65, Earthquake in Tech Norm Performance, and Vader in Flying. Only gets a 76B minus. I'm hoping the main event ain't. Nope, this didn't do well. So after the match, Earthquake and Vader continue the beatdown, then Sting music hits. He comes out to a huge pop, he chases them off as quickly. As they quickly jump out of the ring when they see him coming. Sting's like, Vader, I lied. I am here, and right now you're not my number one target. After what you did last week. I am here for all the Stingers out there. And that title is going to be mine as Survivor Series. So Sting was actually there. He lied to the, lied to us. That's why I say it's the best show. 75B-. minus Gives us 73B- minus overall. I think the reason our shows are doing so shit is our locker room issues. Which need to be sorted soon. Um, gives us an 8... Uh, lost his popularity in eight regions. I think once our locker room basically goes back up, you know, starts rising from zero, that's the issue. I think that's going to help because I have read that does have issues because I did Google this. So, until that sorted, WCW might not be beating us in ratings, but they are beating um, on TV, but they're beating us in other areas, which is our biggest issue. You know, right now we are losing popularity every week. We are struggling to stay above the rest, and I think. You know, doing all these drug tests and everything else, certain wrestlers are now in rehab and we ain't got the star power and people, the locker room is a shambles. Um, right, no, right. So let's, I'll just show you for now the um, locker room as I, um, where is, there is a way of looking on here in the locker room backstage. As you can see, oh, we, we've got a 22% now. So we've gone up a little bit to 22%. That is better than what it is. So your backstage training is to kind of how good or bad an answer is in your locker room. It's created by looking at three sections below. I you should try and keep it above 70%. As anything below that considers a bad answer and will affect the morale and performance as a worker. The lower the rating gets, the more negative incidents you will have to deal with. Please know that a higher work is pushed, the more he impacts the backstage area. Bad tempered main event is significantly worse than a bad tempered med carder. So yeah, you see, it does have a negative effect overall. and that is what we need. Also, Sting tested positive for steroids. <laughs> oh, we got Marcus Bagwell. <laughs> Lol, there we are. He's on board. That's good. Dave Boy Smith is now back, which is good. That's something we can... Oh, beautiful. Dave Boy Smith's back. Finally, we've got someone else who's a bit bigger. Because if you actually go on here and you tour this company, we'll have a look at um, Nitro... Vader, Sting, Davy Boy, Mark Mamera, and The Undertaker are our most popular stars. Those two are in fucking rehab. So, you can see the issues we're having. Alright, um... Nitro. So, the faces... So, Nitro only got a 79B last night. As the Brooklyn Brawler defeated Van Hammer. Rick Steenbeck and the Barbarian looks to grab a massive brawl. Hulk Hogan defeated Denny Kiss. Backstage, Ric Flair, Dynamite Kid and Missy Hart. Lord of the Rings defeated Top, Top Dogs. Hulk Hogan and Roddy Piper. There's a brawl between them. Susan Green. The Fabulous Moonlight defeats Susan Green. The Barbarian, Haku, Barry Windham, Bob Backlund. The face field in a contest with Windham and Backlund. So, the Fabulous... As I said, they've got Fabulous Moolah, who is 60 years old. That is why I didn't hire her when we did it. But their show did better than us, and so did their Saturday night broadcast. Shockingly. Um, but yes, so David Boy's back. I'm going to have a quick look and see how he did in rehab. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. We'll see you again real soon.
Ladies and gentlemen, we have two stars in the making in this opening angle. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Super Stars. We see the letters on the stage that say Superstars Mankind's Music Hits, and he comes out to the ring with a Smoky Mountain t-shirt on. And Mankind's like, you see, this is the, this, you see, this is a time where I work for WWF, ECW, and Smoky Mountain Wrestling. You see, but don't bother me. It's helping me improve for the better. So I am ready for people like Coco. You see, last week my attack on Coco in the main event went sour, and he's very lucky because it survives. It won't he? It won't be so lucky for him. I'm coming for you. I'm coming for glory and to rise the ranks of the World Wrestling Federation. And with this Coco Boy music hits, which is really happy, clappy, and he comes out to the ring, and he just comes out and he stands on the stage. So after this taping, we have a bit of a gap where the Ring crew take out all, remove all the letters from superstars and turn on the Titan Tron, blah blah blah. And Coco's like, Mankind, that's what you did the wrong thing. It might have gone sour for you, but I stand here as the hero for all these fans, and they're just literally clapping along and enjoying this. You might sit in the ring pulling out your hair and rocking back and rocking, but look at me. I am the thing that's going to kick your ass in three weeks, and tonight's main of three weeks? Two weeks. In two weeks, and tonight's main event, you join your hardcore freaks in a six-man action as I join Team ECW, and I'll show you what I am made of. So tonight's main event will be six-man action as Coco Beware joins Sandman and Salvatore Bowman, and Mankind will be joining the Dudley Boys. But yeah, 60C, I can't complain. In a good match, Air Pillman, Brian Pillman defeat Kevin Sullivan, 739 by Pillman the Air Pillman. Brian Pillman, 75, Kevin Sullivan, 66, 71C+. Plus. In about a D2S in the moment, Chief Val McIntyre defeated Susan Sexton in 802 by Pinfall. Susan Sexton 48, Val McIntyre 46. No work Bruins 50D+. Plus. Um, Val McIntyre celebrating victory in the room when Bull Nakuno runs in and attacks her, beating her down to the map. 38D-. Minus. And then Gene's like, welcome back to Superstars. Join us at this time, the Tonga Kid. And the kid's like, shut up. Shut up. Oh, you, do, you want to follow me to ECW now, Smoky Mountain Wrestling. I mean, attack me here on Superstars. It's not on. And as Survivor Series, it won't be you winning. It's going to be me. You know what I'm going to do next week right here? I'm going to be joined by my family. Samu and Fatu with her, with her fear. And we'll be going to war against you idiots. So RVD, be ready. And when this RVD just walks on the interview set and he's like, okay, I'll bring the Bushwhackers. See you next week, idiot. And he just walks off. So yeah, RVD. <laughs> so next week on Superstars, we've got another, we've got a huge main event for the set for Superstars next week. As... Two teams I've been trying to keep off. You know, I've been trying to use this to build up talent. But I think the best way to, you know, increase talent on this show is bring in the one of the biggest raw storylines over to to culminate. And it's going to happen. It's going to be RVD and the Bushwhackers taking on the Samus. The Simone Robbius, as they're going to be called. That will become a stable, by the way, guys. Just so you know that he's going to be called the Samoan Warriors and Afu will be managing the Tonga Kick for the future. Reference, that's kind of where I'm going with this, but that will be sorted out for next week. 48D+. Plus. I forgot. I didn't forget to do the thing. Is it 16, 18? Mm, I've got my half time to do Raw. In about a bad time, they didn't have much cheating. Tell Bryson, Shane Douglas defeated Sabu in 79 by people of the Pittsburgh Plunge. Uh, Shane Douglas, 44. Sabu, 40. Uh, Shane Douglas, who his game, is slowed by his injury, blah, blah, blah. He'll get better when he's not injured. 41. D. Yeah, lower leg constitution, not bad. In a decent match, Barry Horwitz defeated Papa Shango in 806 by Pinfall. Barry Horwitz 43, Papa Shango 56, no work abrimments, 55C minus. And your main event of the night is Bubba Ray Dudley, Devon D the Dudleys, take and Mankind taking on Coco Beware and the Team EC Dub. EC Dub. EC Dub. In a decent match, Coco Boy and Team ECW defeated Mankind and the Dudley Boys in 1431 when Salvatore Balmo defeated Bubba Ray Dudley by Pin for the Big Splash. Coco Boy 54, Salvatore Balmo 44, Sandman 48, Bubba Ray Dudley 47, Devon Dudley 45, Mankind 60. That is the sort of wrestling you want from these guys. <laughs> no work improvements, 55, 57C minus. That's where we end tonight's show with 58C minus. That show is pretty good, ladies and gentlemen. We'll see you for Raw. Hello, welcome back. Raw, it's time. We've got Vader Sting, Brett, Robert, Savage, Taker, Slot, and Davy Boy Smith. All in the opening package, 9,993 people. I've come out to see Monday Night Raw tonight, and hopefully we're back on the rise. And you guys, welcome to Raw. Joining me now, the Brett the Hitman Hart. And Brett's like, next week he'll be back. And that night, Steve Austin, I'll be waiting and I'm going to find you and send you back on the shelf where you belong. You see, you ain't been here and you don't deserve this match at all. 
Am I hitting a Bret Hart heel turn or something? I don't know, but at the moment, the fans still love him. Sony 6B minus. Beautiful. In his match, Kevin Sullivan defeated Diamond Dallas Page in 607 by the Devil Stomp. Diamond Dallas Page 55, Kevin Sullivan 70, Diamond Dallas Page from Rumble 67C+. Plus. In his match, the Steiner Brothers defeated the Blue Brothers in 533 when Rick Steiner defeated Ron Harris by people the Diving Bulldog. Ron Harris 54, Don Harris 53, Rick Scott Steiner 67, Rick Steiner 63. Rick Steiner in performance is 65C. And G's like, joining me now, the Bushwhackers. And Butch is like, look here, we're only two weeks away from Survivor Series. And that night, we will be winning the titles. And Luke's like, you said, you said we pissed you off. Well, good. It's going to be us. And the only way you can see us, win, see our win, is live on pay per view. 45D from the Bushwhackers. Not the best, but we'll go with it. In this match, Crush defeated Dave Finley in 551 by people of the Heart Punch. Crush 54, Dave Finley 52. No work and brilliance of 56 C minus. Uh, Yokozuna, Master to Hero, Chona are backstage and they have a massive argument and then a brawl and road agents and staff have to pull them apart. Then in a battle at Fantasy in Decent Wrestling, Yokozuna defeated Road Warrior Hawk in 609 by pin of the Bonsai Drop. He makes defense number three of his uh, WF Incontinental. Sustained a su simple mixelay fracture, which is not good. Hawk 61, Yokozuna 61, Yokozuna in performance. Now, hopefully. An earthquake, Taker. I'm not scared. If you think you can tombstone me, don't make me laugh, you stupid idiot. I'm not scared of you, and this is going to be the match to watch when your dead hero is buried by me. A 65C, that's strong words by Earthquake there. And in, in a set of matches tonight where we'll see teams, some of Rand, Team Savage take on some of the members of Team, um, team Anderson, the issue is uh, Jerry Lawler, who was meant to be a part of all this, is not here tonight, I'm afraid. Um... Slaughter 70, Chili Rancher 69, uh, no work for him, 72B minus. Hopefully, this is going to help us get the rating up a bit. In the exception, Man Street Roberts defeated Arnanson in 814 by Pivotal the DDT, following defense on Randy Savage. Arnanson 82, Jake Roberts 76, no work for Jake Roberts, I have had a look. After his rehab, he is reformed in all areas, which is great, 76B minus. And Gene's like, joining me at this time, Sting, and Sting's like, thanks Gene, look here Vader, I am ready, me and Taker are ready for the biggest fight tonight, and we're coming for glory, and Vader, you're going down, me and Taker will win, 78B, and we go into a beautiful tag match, in a superb match, IRS and David Boy Smith defeat Randy Savage and Bret Hart in 733, and David Boy defeat Randy Savage by pinfall the running power slam, following the from Arn Anderson. IRS was a weak link, that's fine. Uh, Bret Hart, 78. Randy Savage, 80. David Boy Smith's only one. IRS, 59. IRS in technical, 74B minus. And your main event tonight is State of Sting and Undertaker taking on Earthquake and Vader. In a battle of fantastic heat and great wrestling, the Undertaker and Sting defeat Earthquake and Vader in 2003 when Sting defeated Earthquake by pinfall. Earthquake was weakness to from removing performance. Sting, 81. Undertaker, 74. Vader, 90. Earthquake, 61. Earthquake and technical performance, Vader and Flying and Undertaker in performance. An 80B, that's where we end tonight's show, given us a 78B overall. It lost its popularity in three, but increased our popularity in eight regions. So let's have a look and see how the WCW fared against that brilliant episode of Monday Night Raw. Basically just put Sting and Vader in the main event once every week. Next week, Sting will be in action and he will be in the main event against Davy Boy Smith. I'll be booking that on the next screen. So that'll be your main event of the go-home edition of Monday Night Raw next week before Survivor Series. It'll be Vader, but not Vader. It'll be Sting versus Davy Boy Smith. I'm really excited about that one. You have emails. So last night, All Japan Pro Wrestling beat everybody <laughs> with an 80B. Um, WCW Nitro, they got a 78B. Oh, okay. The Top Dogs defeat Ali Katz in the pre-show. Lex Luger and Jim Duggan. The Lord of the Rings defeat Tex and Shanghai, which they've been doing every for the ages. The pre-match interview with Brooklyn Brawler. He defeated Rip Rogers. Missy Hart and Roddy Piper backstage. T Tananka. He defeated Norman Lunatic for the television title. Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair, Susie Green and Candy Devire. Candy Devire defeats Susan Green by Countout. And then Jim Duggan and Roddy Piper, and Jim Duggan defeats Roddy Piper. Was that for the title? No, the title went on the line. Mm, interesting. 
We then have a 78 B Monday Night Raw, but we've got a 4.6 viewership. Nitro only got a 2.06, so we're still doing better than them. Last night's Saturday night main event, uh, Roddy Pipe and Barry Windham. Dustin Rhodes defeat Kent Cole to retain the United States title. Uh, Michael Haynes and Ricky Steamboat, and Ricky Steamboat defeat Michael Haynes in the main event. And then Tanonka, Road Warrior Hawk hurt badly, and then we've got WWF Superstars. So ladies and gentlemen, we did well, and we'll see you guys again next week for the Go Home Edition, and as promised, you'll get to see Sting versus Davey Boy in the main event. You're watching Superstars. Hello everyone, welcome. It's the Go Home Edition of Superstars tonight, and we're going to do an angle on Raw, which is going to hype towards the main event, or to one of the tag title match and the main event of this show on Raw this week, so it's going to kind of refer to the match you've already seen, but that's how companies tape this shit in them days, and I want to make it as realistic as possible. If you were there live, you would watch this, and then you'd get the pro get to see the promo, and you'd be like, yeah, well, we've already seen that match, but you wouldn't know. Welcome to Superstars, this Sunday night live and pay view is Survivor Series, and joining me now, one of the teams in the tables match, Team ECW. And the was like, thanks, Gene. Dudley boys, you've seen us, and we're coming for you. This Sunday Night Live, we will party when we put you through some tables the ECW way. And Salvatore was like, last week we showed you what we can do when we joined with RVD. And this Sunday Night will be no different. It's going to be the end of the Dudley boys. 41D from these guys. Not bad. Then about these wrestling Bell Madrid, Jim Burns will defeat Dave Taylor in 531 by Pinfall. Uh, Jim 48, Dave Taylor 53. No worker birds of 53 C minus. In a decent match, from the Liger defeat Kevin Sullivan in 5.43 by Pim the Brain Buster. Uh, Sullivan 65, Liger 63, 68 C+. Plus. And then, um, basically, in the ring, Val McIntyre and Paul Nakuni have a contract signing for the up-and-coming match. With Gene Oakland serving as the host the, um, of the contract signing, McIntyre signs a contract first before handing over to Nakuni, who then jots a name down, making the match for his travel. Things don't go easy afterwards, and McIntyre and Nakuni get into a massive brawl. Just to basically hype up the women's title match this Sunday night because I want to build the women's division. 48D plus, I did promise you this. Um, do you want to continue? Yes, because it's already booked. And then we get word from the back that something's going on after the break, and we come back and we see Mankind and Coco Buera backstage. And I'm very excited, and these two start brawling with each other, host agents and stuff, have to pull them apart. Also, tonight I'm going to announce before we move on with superstars, you know, I like to jump a bit. Tonight on Raw, we've got David Boy Smith versus Sting, Jake Roberts and Sergeant Slaughter versus Joe Lawn and IRS. And we've got the Great Moon and Randy Surge versus Arn Anderson and Dean Trudy Banchard. I'm also going to have to make an announcement that Road Warrior Hawk had not got better after his recent stint in rehab and has been sent back to rehab. So Diamond Dallas Page is being started into Team Savage over Hawk into the up and coming. 5-on-5 five five elimination match. So I'm going to be booking that properly now so you guys can see it because this is not going to be able to go ahead now because of um, recent issues with Hawk last week. Not only would he not have been able to be in the match anyway because of the injury, but he was high and wasted on drugs last, um, and we need to get him clean. Um, that's kind of our goal. So we've got Randy Savage, Jake Roberts, Sergeant Slaughter, and um, we're going to have the Great Muda as well in there, as promised. The reason Diamond Dallas Page isn't going to be facing Stan Hansen on this show is because Stan Hansen is not available. But Diamond Dallas Page is going in there as well. We've got IRS, uh, Jerry Lawler, uh, Stan Hansen has confirmed, Truly Blanchard, and of course, Arn freaking Anderson. So they're all the names that are in this match. Really excited for this one. So there you go, Aspen Jones. Fifty one D plus. I'm not even on weight which now. I'm on semi worlds. Bugger off. Fifty one D plus. Um in this match, Rock Hart's best defeat Nadine and Owen Hart in six twenty when Robert Gerson defeat Owen Hart by putting the double drop kick. Owen Hart fifty six, Jim Nadine not fifty seven, Robert Gerson fifty eight, Ricky Morton fifty six. Uh Ricky Morton in performance of fifty nine C. Beautiful. In about a decent wrestling, but didn't have much cheat. Papa Shango defeated Tommy Dreamer in 723 by from the Voodoo Driver. Papa Shango 52, Tommy Dreamer 44, Dreamer improving in performance, 51D+. And in the main event, we're going to have the Samoan Warriors taking on RVD, Bushwhacker Luke and Butch. I did promise you the Samoan Warriors were going to become a thing, and they are going to become a thing, and it's going to become a big thing in the WWF. Which is also going to... The idea of Superstars is the re people I'm putting in the angles on Superstars I feel are ready for Raw storylines. But this is like the stepping stone before you get on Raw. It's a bit like you've got your P Pro Wrestling USA where all the young guys go. And then you've got 
you know, WWE World Wrestling Federation, um, superstars, and then you've got Raw. But yeah, then yeah, we have. But it's also for that. But in a decent match, the Samoan Warriors, the Tonga Kid, the Samu, and Fatu defeat RVD and the Bushwhackers in 2018 when the Tonga Kid defeated Roland Down by Pin the Samoan Drop. After a fear interfered, RVD 43, Butch 48, Luke 45, Fatu 55, Samu 57, and the Tonga Kid 58. Uh, no work improvements. That's brilliant. A 54 C minus. They're going to end the show there because there's a 56 C minus overall, which is a great show. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll see you live for Monday Night Raw in a few ticks. Thanks for watching. It might be recorded tomorrow, but for you guys, it's a few ticks, so it always works. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm back. I think I finished yesterday. Um, no one because I'm... this weekend's been busy. Hopefully, I've, I've got more time tomorrow to get on with editing this together i've got ring of honor to start tomorrow or later on today hopefully i'll get some ring of honor done but the issue is i haven't done ring of honor or tna for a while and i haven't got a bloody clue what's going on in either company i do but it didn't take me a few minutes to get back in the swing of things but we're still here it's november 1993 this coming sunday night you've got survivor series but right now we've got raw heading into survivor series you would have seen superstars after this which was recorded yesterday so Lo and behold, to what happened on that show, I don't remember without looking. Uh, video airs hyping Vader, Taker, Yoko, Zuna, Savage, Brett, Sting, Davy, and Slaughter. And we open up. Stone Cold with Steve comes out and he goes, free Stone Cold, 316 is back. Now, since I've been going through, go, have, have been go, gone, things have changed. I thought I was facing Warrior, but I've heard... He swore and quit live on Raw. Oh my god, the bad man, Bret Hart, you've been looking for me. Well, you've not looked hard enough. I am here in the ring. Where are you? And with this Bret Hart music, and so he goes, So this is Stone Cold E, Steve, or Stone Cold. Or are you the ringmaster? Look, it don't matter. I wanted to know that this Sunday night I'm going to win. I wanted you to know that this Sunday night I'm going to win the world title. You see, Stone, you're not ready for this at all, and it's going to be me. Before you can get another word in, Stone Cold stunners him out of his boots, and Steve Austin goes, I'll win, and that's the bottom line, because Stone Cold said so. So Bret Hart didn't improv improvise well, so does Stone Cold. Awesome. No work for 72B minus. And of course, this Sunday night live, I'm going to have a bite of me apple. Yeah, from eating healthy, ignore me. A 72B minus. Um, yeah, not bad. In the decent match, Jason would like to feed Kevin Sullivan and 548 by putting with a brain buster. Liger 63, Sullivan 62. Uh, no work for 660 plus. Kevin Sullivan will now be gone from the World Wrestling Federation. Just give me a second. Just mess with me phone say. 66 C plus, not bad. We're gonna move on. In a poor match, the Dudley Boys defeat Eliminators in 552 and Devon defeat John Curris by Pivot the Power Driver. John Curris 47, Perry Saturn 37, Bubba Ray Dudley 45, Devon 44. D Devon in performance and Perry Saturn performance. Nice. 49 D plus. So the idea behind this is these two are not getting are not improving in popularity at all at the moment and I want to push them as hard as I can um on TV. So if we have them on raw they're more likely to get better popularity. But next up we've got the Simone Savages. Or oh, Samoan Warriors, sorry. This week on Superstars, you'll see the Samoan Warriors come together to take down the Bushwhackers and RVD. But this Sunday, these three men will stand tall and show you that you should not mess with the Samoans. So be ready for war. 47 d And you would have already seen that match, so don't keep an eye out for it. It was the match you saw on the next previous episode. In a bad match of Pro Wrestling, a little heat. Dave Finley defeats Sabu in 635 by Pinfall the Tombstone Pole Driver. Dave Finley 52, Sabu 39. No work for of 50D. Randy Savage backstage says, Stick around because in just a bit, my team members will be in action against Team Anderson. Oh, yeah. Due to some changes in, in circumstances, Hawk will no longer be in my team but will be replaced by DDP. Oh, yeah. Because Roadway Hawk's now back in rehab. Just saying. And the Earthquakes backstage is like, tonight you face my good friend Vader, but you'll not win. I'll make sure of it. You see this Sunday Night Live and pay for you, I'll kick your ass and prove who the true monster is. Me. So of course he's sending a message to Undertaker here. He's be facing this Sunday night in singles action. 67C+. In a poor match, Shara Russell defeat Arja Kong in 629 by Pinfall. Arja Kong 51. Shara Russell 32. Shara Russell in Technal. Or 47D. Not bad. 
In above a decent wrestling, um, in above a good heat and decent wrestling, Jerry Lawler and IRS defeat Jake Roberts and Sergeant Slaughter in 7-11, sorry, when Jerry Lawler defeated Sergeant Slaughter by using undone tactics. Slaughter 67, Jake Roberts 69. IRS 52, Jay Lawler 58, no work of Bruins 68C+. Plus. Uh, the Yokozuna Masahiro Masahi Trinav heated, conversation, heated convo, confrontation, but don't come to blows. Head of their match. In next year's short match, the Great Muda and Randy Savage drew Von Anson and Trudy Banch in a 352 following double count-out. Savage 79, Great Muda 77, Trudy Banch 70, R. Uh, Ninus 85, Trudy Banch and Technol 56 C minus. In an exceptional match, Vader defeated Undertaker in 6-14 by pin with a Vader bomb following first on Curve Craig. Vader makes defense number 8 of his WWF Championship. Undertaker 75, Vader 94, Vader, um, Vader and Flying 75 B-minus. Your main event of the night, of course, as promised, is Sting versus David Boy Smith. In above and fantastic he and good wrestling, Sting defeated David Boy Smith in 1933 by pinfall. David Boy 67, Sting 70. No work from Bruins 73 B-minus. After the match, Vader runs out and attacks Sting, of course, hitting the Vader bond on him, leaving him down out, and he stands tall and proud with his title to close out the show and get you guys to hopefully watch Survivor Series and buy the pay view. That's where we end the show. It didn't show us how many things we increased and how many things we lost, which is really naughty of it. I hate when it does, does skip. I'm going to have to start eating this apple a bit quicker. It's already starting to brown in places. But yeah, so we're doing all right. I think we've done quite well this week. I think that show is all right. Definitely need to improve on the backstage stuff because backstage rating is below a certain amount and it means they're not going to be working as hard. Um, So we obviously only got, well, we got Sony 3 B minus. WCW even had a bad show this week with a, no, this is Saturday night. Where's night? We beat Nitro. Sony 3 B minus. I can't complain with that. So, Mark Haynes and Ric Flair. Haynes and Ric Flair defeat the top dogs. Tito and Santana and Michael Haynes. Mercy Rising defeat Alley Cats. Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair have a consultation backstage. Barry Windham defeat Al Poff. Uh, Roddy Piper defeat Barry Windham. Don Marie defeat... Don Marie, interview Don Marie. Then Candy Diver defeat Don Marie by DQ. And then Josh Bungur, King Kong Bundy, British Beef and Junkyard Dud. And Ben Gar and Bundy defeat Beefcake and JY Junkyard Dog by... DQ, 66, the main event there. The best show of the night was actually Saturday night main event, where Rick Steamboat and the Barbarian, the fabulous Moolah and Lali Ken, and Lily Ken defeated the Moolah. Jim Duggan and Barry Windham, Lex Luger and Rick Flair. Duggan and Windham went to no contest with Luger and Flair in the main event there. Andrew Conn Fings, Pat Patterson, Kevin Sullivan's gone, and that's all of it. So ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you again real soon. I want to thank you all for watching. And we'll see you on this Sunday night for, of course, the simple and the best. It's going to be Survivor Series. Well, ladies and gentlemen, this is your final part of this episode. Episode number four. Um, not episode number four, but part. Episode number four of this week. This is actually episode ten, I do believe. Which is a hurdle. Um, let's go in and have a quick look. For some reason, I've shot this down. Um, yeah, episode ten. That's nice. Ooh. Well, that, that's a bit of a problem, isn't it? I ain't at, at number this. You get to have another look inside, quick insight on how to I label these. This will now be edited. Then we're going. I'm going to go and have a look at Ring of Honor, WWF. Um, what did I say this was? This is eight. So that's part. This is part nine. That goes into there. Bob's your uncle. Right. Shall we get on? We got twenty-four thousand two hundred seventy-six at the Palace of Arban Hills. I haven't changed the venue. I've let the game pick the venue for us. So if the show's not that good. I think this show is going to be quite a good one. Um, the main cards, anyway. In an extremely short pre show match, Roger Kong, Jacqueline, Reggie Bennett, and Susan Sexton defeat Cheryl Russell, Brittany Brown, Bosney Kuma, and Alonda Blaze in 4.45, and Susan Sexton defeat Bosney K by having the Bulldog. Blaze 46, Bosnia Kuma 48, uh, Brown 44, Shara Russell 30, Susan Sexton 47, Reggie Bennett 45, Jacqueline 41, and Archer Kong 50. Reggie Bennett in performance and Archer Kong in performance. Now, I'd like to announce next week. Um, there might be a, a while before the games change over for you guys on the channel, but as soon as I hit, which I think I am in the month of Royal Rumble, we're going to cut back. You're going to get two episodes of TNA Impact that week, um, rebuilding the TNA brand. 
um, Rage Bennett performance and Archie Kong performance, which is good. So 50D Plus, which is the up and coming, so you'll get that and three episodes of WWE and one episode of Ring of Honor. In a decent Bruce match, the Steiner Brewers in um, Harlem Heat defeated Steiners in 557 when Steve Ray defeated Rick Steiner by pinning the Towering Inferno. Uh, Stevie 47, Booker T 49, Scott 68, Rick 61. No work of room, 63C, not bad. In a pre-show, in a pre-show, Bad Bad Sub Power, Single Heat, Sabu, Bagwell, Mark Moreau, K- Kenna Kabashi, and Barry Hoyt, Sophie, Joko, Edge, Homicide, Connor Hurst, Alms, and Isaac Young from DDS in a traditional cyber match in 1222, and Isaac Young was eliminated first. First, so he basically he went, then, then Edge was gone, then Homicide. Then Hunter Hurst Townsley, then Marco Marcus Bagwell got thrown out, and then finally Chris Joko. <sighs> but yeah, Barry Horowitz 43, Kenneth Kabashi 52, Mark Mare 52, Marcus Bagwell 38, Sabu 46, Ike Zick DDS, hence why he's down in the training grounds. Got 24, Hunter Hurst 47, Homicide 26, Edge 34, and Chris Joko 55. Sabu in Techno, Bagwell in performance, Mark Mare in Rumble, Mark Mare in performance, and Edge in Techno in performance. Hence why we call him up for one night. Only we've got another. And a few guys, a couple of guys. In the pre-trial, so Paul Wrestling will heat Tiger Mask 2 and Tommy Dreamer defeat Kid Cash and Jeff Jarrett in 829 when Tiger Mask defeat Kid Cash by putting the moonsault. Jeff Jarrett 38, Kid Cash 25, Tommy Dreamer 43, Tiger Mask 51. No work in ruins of 4060. Not bad. <clears throat> Tonight, the road to Christmas begins for some. But for us, the road is over. Tonight, the biggest stars clash as feuds boil over. On this Thanksgiving night, let's finish on filling up you after your dinners with some of the best action your money can buy. And now, WDF presents Survivor Series 1993. The private goes off on stage and then the crowd... And then we get shown the crowd, and then we're shown Jim and Bobby. I somehow let um, Gunnar Monsoon leave. Welcome to this night of action like no other company can do. Tonight we've got a traditional Cyber Series match, and all the titles are on the line. And Bobby's like, kicking us off tonight is Team ECW vs. Study Boys in a tables match. Jim, tell me more. One Monsoon goes to the table. They're the winners. It was only 6B minus, and we're going to kick off. And in a poor match, the Dudley Boys defeat Team ECW in 823 when the Samurai was eliminated first, and then Devon, and finally Salvatore Balmo. Salvatore 46, Sandman 47, Bubba Ray 45, and Devon 45. Salvatore improving Rumble. Uh, 45D. All the storylines will be changing after this. In a decent match, Mankind defeat Coco Beware in our next match in 12.30 by pin of the double arm DDT. Coco Beware 51, Mankind 61. No work improvements. He had an amazing match this past week on Smoky Mountain Wrestling uh, against The Undertaker in their main event. And even though they're... Undertaker, Yokozuna, Bret Hart, and I can't remember who else they've got. They've got a few on loan for his having Kevin Sullivan <laughs> for that period of time. And they've made Yokozuna their world champion, so that's going to help him. In a bad, a great heat and good wrestling, Masahiro Chono defeated Smoky Mountain Wrestling's world champion, but became our Intercontinental champion, Yokozuna, in 1516 by putting the Yakuza kick. Masahiro Chono wins the WWF Intercontinental title. Masahiro Chono is 74, Yokozuna 60, Yokozuna proven technical. I want Masahiro Chono to be a big name for us, working between us and Japan. But I don't feel with him doing the Japan dates and stuff, he's fit enough to put the world title on him just yet. So I want to build him up, get him a bit more popularity behind him. So I'm going to give him a good run with the Intercontinental title. Um, and hopefully it'll get him to a position where I feel if I can put the world title on. Because he's not young at this point, I don't think. We'll have a, we'll have a quick look at how old some of these ref- the champions are after this show. 76p minus. Beautiful. In a decent match, Rey Mysterio, Juice from the Liger, Jim Burns, or Crush, and Brian Pillman defeat Dave Boy Smith, Papa Shango, Shane Douglas, Dave, Ta- Dave Finley, and Dave Taylor in a Strive Series match in 10.07. So Dave Finley was eliminated first, then Shane Douglas, then Dave Taylor, um, then Papa Shango, then Rey Mysterio Jr., then Juice and Thunder Liger, and then finally they got rid of Dave Boy Smith. Uh, Brian Pillman. 65, Crush 57, uh, Jim Burns all 53, Juice Wonder Liger 63, Roman Steele Jr. 45, Dave Taylor 53, Dave Finley 54, Shane Douglas 42, Papa Shango 49, and David Boy 75. Roman Steele in performance and David Boy in performance. Um, why did these guys win? I said it to be Dave Taylor winning. Uh, anyway, 65C, I'm not going to worry about that too much. In the decent match, RVD defeat the Tonga Kid in 956 by putting the 5 star frog splash. The Tonga Kid 53, RVD 51, no work for 54C minus. 
In these match, there triggers to defeat the Bushwhackers in 1354 when Fatu defeat Bushwhacker Luke by pin with the diving headbutt. The head triggers make defense number nine of their WF tag team titles. Uh, Luke 43, Butch 54, Fatu 55, Samu 55, uh, Bushwhacker Butch in performance of 58 C minus. In this match, Typhoon, Nadine, and Onar defeat, and the Blue Brothers defeat Dos Caras and the Rock and Roll Express and Eliminators in a traditional Survivor Series match in 952. Ron Harris was eliminated first, which is. What is that? No, Ron Harris is over here, isn't it? Yeah, Ron Harris, then John, which I want to use, that's John, then Owen Hart, then Dos Caras, then Robert Gibson, then Typhoon got eliminated. Leave and finally Ricky Morton. Bye bye. So that team got eliminated. 56 E minus, not bad. Uh, John Coe is 44, Perry Sam 46, Robert Gibson 53, Ricky Morton 53, Dos Cars 59, Typhoon 57, Ron Harris 51, Don Don Harris 50, Owen Hart 57, Jim Nadine 55, John Coe is in performance, Ricky Morton in flying, Ricky Morton in performance, Robert Gibson in rumble, Robert Gibson in performance, and Don Harris in performance, and Typhoon in techno. 56 E minus, can't complain. In about a decent wrestling, but didn't have much heat. Bull Nakuni. Defeated Val McIntyre 953 by putting the guillotine leg drop. She makes fans number three of the women's title. Val McIntyre 47, ball 50. Ball win performance, uh, 52D plus. Not going to complain with that. In about a fantastic heat and good wrestling, The Undertaker defeated Earthquake in 1045 by putting the Tombstone Pile Driver. Earthquake 63, Undertaker 71, Earthquake and Techno, Undertaker in performance, 71C plus. In a good match, the Diamond Dallas Page, the Great Mood of Sergeant Slaughter, Jake Roberts and Randy Savage defeat Arn Hansen, Chuli Banchers, Stan Hansen, Jerry Lawler and IRS in a traditional Cyber Series match. IRS got eliminated first, so IRS got went out first, then Jerry Lawler, then Truly Banchard, then Stan Hansen got eliminated. Now that left, um, then that did leave Arn Hansen on his own, and he started going through people like Wi-Fi. He took out Great, he took out Jake Roberts, he then took out the Great Mooder, he then took out Sergeant Slaughter. And then he took out Randy Savage. So that's Muda, Slaughter. Hold on. Yeah, Savage. Jake Roberts. Savage. The Great Muda. And so on. So DDP got a huge win in this match by taking out Arn Anderson on his own. If you're going to go by that logic, well, there's a big shot for you. That's not how I had this plan going, but there you go. That's going to help me. Randy Savage, 82. Jake Roberts, 72. Assange Lord, 71. Great Mood, 72. Diamond Dallas Page, 55. IRS, 56. Jerry Lawler, 53. Stan Hansen, 77. Truly Banchard, 65. And Arn Anderson, 80. IRS and Rumble and Technol, 78B. Beautiful. Next up on the card is Bret Hart taking on Stone Cold Steve Austin. In a superb match, Stone Cold Steve Austin defeated Bret Hart in 24 minutes 44 by pin for the Stone Cold Stunner. Stone Cold Steve Austin is the WWF World Champion. Bret Hart 78, Stone Cold 63. He's improving in technical and my God, is this a shock for the eyes. So the WWF didn't hire him by this point. He was still in WCW, but... With the way contracts go, I was able to hire him. I've got him on board, and I, because of all the rehab stuff, I've pushed him. And I'm going to keep pushing him, because a 79B is a brilliant match from these two. But of course, we've still got the huge main event as Sting takes on Vader. In an exceptional match, Vader defeated Sting in 34-52 by pin of the Vader Stolt. Vader makes defense number 9 of his WWF Championship title. Sting 86, Vader 93, Vader and Flying. Vader was supposed to be tying towards the end. I forgot to set this as a um, slow build. Damn. That was my fault. But an A4B+, plus, I cannot complain for that as the main event for this pay-per-view. Ladies and gentlemen... That was Survivor Series 1993, as put on by me and WWF. Gives an 81B. That increased our popularity throughout the world. And ladies and gentlemen, I cannot help but be a very happy promoter right now. Raw my suck. But I can tell you for one thing, we are going to two-hour time slot over the next few weeks. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be giving... I know that there's a lot more people deserving, but these guys deserve it we're gonna have a quick look and have a look and see how old all of our champions are um just have a quick gander to see how many years they've got in them really because we know some of them are young um we're gonna have a quick look and see what's going on in the rest of the world we're gonna have a look at new japan we're gonna have a look at wcw we'll have a look in ecw and we'll have a look at smoking Mountain wrestling as well at the end of this episode
And what I'll do is, because I'm doing every three, three episodes a week, at the end of the big pay-per-view, so Royal Rumble, WrestleMania, SummerSlam, and Survivor Series, we'll have a look at the, like we're doing now, we'll have a quick look around the world, see what's happening, see what's going on. So, the Fox Broadcasting Company struck a deal to broadcast NFL games for the 1994 NFL season in June. This deal has led to a surge in awareness of Fox Television Network and Silvio as a visible fourth alternative to the Big Three. All Japan to tour, they've got a rest period. Last night we did an amazing show. Everybody's happy. We got quite a few buys actually, and we're on TV in the UK and Europe. Um, we're only up to, we weren't really up to up against many companies last night. Robin finishes tour. Robin has got an offer for All Japan. Sabu's got an EWR, Captain Strath's got an offer to go to the company he was in. So we're going to have a quick look. I'm dreading to see how well we did last month. Yeah, we got... Right, okay. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, we're going to have a quick look at the finances. Because as you can see, this is the loss we made last month. And the month before, we made a loss. And then we made it, you know, and it seems to be stuck like that. But this month, we made a profit. I'm happy with that. Ladies and gentlemen, that's brilliant. We made a profit. That's all we need to know. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start off with our biggest rivals, the World Championship Wrestling. Um, we're going to have a quick look at them, and then we're going to have a look at our champions, see where they are. So they've hired up a lot of people um, that, you know, I'm not being horrible and not going to be around for many more years. You've got... Barry Windham, he's 33. Bob Backlund's 44. Hogan's in his 40s now. Jim Duggan's 39. Snooker in his 50s. Josh Ben Gura, he's got 71 everywhere. He is 34. Lex Luger, 35. Michael Haynes, 34. Rick Flair, I swear he's in his 44 now. Ricky Steamboat, 40s. Roddy Piper, 39. Terry Funk, 49, and Tita Santana, 40. So that's their, that's their main event scene at the moment. Now, um, you've got Dustin Rhodes as the United States champion still. He is on our shortlist. So he, as soon as he comes available, I will hire him as soon as I can. Uh, or Don Marie is their women's champion. Uh, World Heavyweight Champion is Michael Haynes. World Tag Team Champions are still Michael Haynes and Ric Flair. World Television is Tanonka. So that it's quite an interesting thing. and. Um, we're going to have a quick tour of the company, see who their biggest stars are. Um, of course, the first two you know is going to come up is Hulk Hogan and Ric Flair. You've got Ricky Steamboat in there. You've also got Lex Luger and you've also got Josh Bengura. So that's not bad for them. Right, we're going to head over to New Japan Pro Wrestling before we have a look at the our little triangle I've made. Um, where is New Japan? Here's New Japan. So in New Japan Pro Wrestling, please bear with me. I'm not going to be able to say people's names. The IWGP Junior Heavyweight Man is Kazunu Yamizuka. Uh, World Heavyweight is An Antonio Anuki. Anu 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 Antonio Anuki. The Great Kabuki and Taz Tazir and Goto are the World Tag Teams. Um, Masio Chono Rikai Kush won the Super Grade Tag Lead. The Young Lions Cup was run by Tony Hamill this year. Best of Super Juniors was run by uh, Tiger King. And then the G1 Climbing Max was run by the Great Muda. So that's what's going on in New Japan at the moment. Right, we're going to have a quick look at Smoky Mountain Wrestling next. That's where we're going to go. And then we'll have a look at ECW. Who, Because these guys we work with, so Jim Cornette, they have the Great Muda as their figurehead at the moment. Tom Pritchard is their SMW Beat the Champ Television. Um, heavyweight champion at the moment is, of course, Yokozuna after Kevin Sullivan left the company. Um, after he had a stint with us, Kevin Sullivan was champion, now it's Yokozuna. Tag team champions are Tim Horner and Stan Hain, and then Rip Rogers is the United States Junior Heavyweight Champion. Now we're going to have a quick look, we're just going to go through, I'm not going to do this for the company because it's not accurate to the company at all, because he's on loan, he's on loan, he's on loan, he's on loan, and he's on loan. So, they're all on loan from us at the moment, which is a bit similar to what we would have had done with Extreme Championship Wrestling. ECW. So, the World Heavyweight Champion is Brian Nobbs. Their World Tag Team Champions are JT Smith and Rockin' Rebel. And the World Television Champion is Bubba Ray Dudley. But, we're going to have a quick tour of their company, see who their biggest stars are. You're going to expect to see some ECW names in here. You've got Masahiro Chono. You've also got the Great Muda, Jerry Lawler, Mankind. And Juice Van der Liger. So that's what's going on there. Right then, we're going to go back to the World Champion World Wrestling Federation. So Vader at this time is 37. 
So Vader ain't a spring chicken at all. I know he wasn't, but he's doing as good and he's staying as champion for a while. I've got plans for him up until the Sting and Vader storyline is going to stop, but it's going to hit up again around WrestleMania time, and you hopefully know why. Uh, Masio Chono at this time is 30, so he's still not a spring chicken, but he's now our Intercontinental Champion. Um, and, you know, he's got... He's doing quite well for himself. He's won the AGPW, he's IWGP. He hasn't won the IWGP title, but, you know, not nothing against him. Um, women's Champion is Borna Cooney. As you know, as we know, Rockin' Rebel was the last one to hold it in 1990, and it got vacated, obviously. But uh, So, yeah, so he's not a spring chicken. Um, as I say, these need a lot of work. She's only 25, and a lot of the women are 25. Stone Cold Steve Austin, of course, is 28. So, he's on the bright side. He's not on the. He's not 30 yet, so he's still... Well, we've still got a few years with him. I think... You know, we're looking at at least 2005, 2006, if not onwards with his Stone Cold. So, but hopefully with him winning the world title, you can see his popularity isn't the best, but that's going to spring up as he keeps winning with that title. And then there's Samu and Fatu. Samu is 30. Fatu is also 27. So you've still got a few years with those sort of wrestlers. And if you go through our roster of, um, let's just filter... You know, I know we've got some of the older generations, so if we just go into any ring push, we can have a quick look. Like, Arjun Kong is 23. Uh, Alondra Blaze is 30. Arn Anson's 35. Barry Horwitz, 33. Bison is 26. Booker T's 28. Bret Hart's 36. Pillman's 31. Brittany Brown is 33. Bubba Ray Dudley, 22. Ball Nakuni, Bulls, 25. Bushwacker Butch, 49. Luke's 46. Cheryl is 32, Crush 30, Dave Finley is 35, David Boy is 31, Dave Taylor 36, DDP is 37, Dom 32, Doscar is 32, Devon 21, Earthquake 30, Fatu 27, IRS 32, Jacqueline 27, Jake Roberts is 38, Jerry Lawler is 44, Alongside Jim Burns, oh, I never knew these two were the same age actually. Jim Nadine Arts, 37. John Cora is 24. Liger is 29. Kenny Kabashi is 26. Coco Boer, 36. Mankind, 28. Mark Romero, 33. Marcus Bagwell, 23. Masio Chono, 30. Uh, Hart, 28. Papa Shango, 32. Perry Sound, 27. Savage, 41. Reggie Bennett, 32. Stereo Jr. is only 18. Steiner 32, 37, 22, 35. So we have a great selection of older talent alongside newer talent who are doing great. And this is what I want. And this is what my WRF is about. Given those um, older talent like Brandy Savage and that time to shine, as well as giving the newer talent time to shine as well. So, gentlemen, we're on the road to Royal Rumble. I'll see you guys next week for more WRF action. And we're going to be having a lot more fun because it'll be the road to Royal Rumble. And we've got three episodes to plan for and new storylines. Hey, gentlemen, thank you all for watching. I'll see you again. Real soon.